Welcome to the next video in our series on ethics and metaethics and the work of Canadian philosopher Charles Taylor. As you may have noticed, we have taken the liberty to give a fairly extensive approach on the subject of ethics and metaethics, and we haven't even begun to contrast certain facets from the philosophy of Charles Taylor with our discussion. We are much obliged for your patience and are happy to inform you that subscribing to our channel is now completely free of charge for as long as this video is playing. Enough chit-chat, let's dive in, shall we? In the previous video, we shed some light on the principal tenets of intuitionism as it evolved from the Enlightenment period with thinkers like Thomas Reed all the way up to our present day, where feeling and intuition have become the primary source of reason for many. In this video, we will discover that foundationalism is a special brand of intuitionism, as it seeks to provide a solution to the problem of infinite regress. In other words, foundationalism holds that certain beliefs or propositions are fundamentally true and need no further investigation or regress. A classic example of a fundamental truth is the proposition of the existence of God. For believers, God has always been viewed as the ultimate cause of the creation of the cosmos. Of course, there are many different religious explanations about the nature and status of God. Let's not delve into that here. So, foundationalism argues that there are basic beliefs that are self-evident. However, unlike intuitionism, careful deliberation is not ruled out. The key distinction is that a foundational truth requires no further justification and serves as the basis that ultimately grounds an argument. Plato's theory of the forms exemplifies foundationalism. Plato proposed that the reality we perceive is merely an illusion, overshadowed by the unchangeable and perfect forms. These immutable and eternal forms underpin all other truths or propositions. Aristotle's concept of an unmoved mover is among the earliest articulations positioning God as the foundational cause of the cosmos a topic we've touched upon earlier. Thomas Reed posits that basic moral judgments are foundational in that they are non-inferential and don't necessitate derivation from other judgments. The Dutch philosopher Sabine Rosa, in her article on moral non-naturalism in the basic book on ethics, differentiates between fallibilistic and infallibilistic foundationalism. The infallibilist views basic beliefs as unwavering and absolute, whereas the fallibilist acknowledges the potential fallacy in such beliefs. Through this, Rosa seems to pinpoint the essential divergence between foundationalism and fundamentalism. In daily life, many regard foundational truths as fundamental truths. However, for most philosophers, it's a foundational belief to never deem any proposition immune to falsification. That seems to imply that foundationalism is out, as the question whether pure rationalism can exist without some foundational beliefs is a topic of much debate among philosophers. In our estimation, every rational argument is ultimately grounded in some form of axiomatic belief or assumption which can be seen as foundational. Whether these kinds of beliefs can be fully eliminated from rational discourse is an intriguing question, don't you think? Please let us know in the comments what your foundational beliefs are on this topic. We are curious to your thoughts. Now let's shift our focus to the thoughts of Charles Taylor. Charles Taylor adds a nuanced layer to the discussion on intuitionism and foundationalism, aligning and diverging in several ways from what we have previously discussed. To some extent, Taylor aligns with the intuitionist perspective, he acknowledges that in our modern secular age, individuals often ground their moral deliberations in their intuitions, emphasizing the authenticity of individual experience. However, diverging from a strict intuitionist standpoint, Taylor underscores that these intuitions should not be viewed in isolation. Instead, they should be informed by broader cultural narratives and moral languages. Regarding foundationalism, Taylor emphasizes the importance of contextualizing these beliefs within historical and cultural narratives. Contrary to Plato's assertion of static, unchangeable forms, Taylor, most notably in A Secular Age, posits that even the most foundational beliefs, like the existence of God, 
are subject to interpretation and can vary across cultures and histories. He would also advocate that foundational beliefs are not beyond scrutiny or revision. Advocating a dialogical approach, Taylor suggests that our beliefs and identities evolve through dialogue with others, underscoring the dynamic nature of foundational beliefs. In summary, while Charles Taylor recognizes the role of individual intuitions and foundational beliefs in shaping our moral perspectives, he emphasizes their interpretation within broader cultural, historical, and dialogical contexts. This approach offers a more comprehensive understanding of how foundational and intuitive beliefs function in our contemporary diverse societies. This brings us to the end of yet another video in this series. We hope you have found value in the information provided. If so, please consider subscribing to the channel. We might be able to squeeze in just one more member of our community. Haha. <laughs> Until next time.